Hello everyone, my name is Laura Rizak and I'm the Associate Rector at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. And today I'd like to pray with you Psalm 122. Now I'm actually here on my, uh, on my screened in porch today rather than in my office. Um, it looks kind of dark in the video, it actually is daylight. It's just that there's so many trees in our backyard, it makes everything look kind of shaded. Um, you know, because there's so many trees, there's also lots of birds. So we might hear some birds calling while we're having our, our time with scripture. There's also some kids playing on a trampoline over there. So we might also hear some squealing in the background, happy laughter, but that's okay. I kind of like praying outside with life going on around me. Hopefully you won't mind either. So if you have a Bible or a Book of Common Prayer, you can turn it to Psalm 122. If you don't have one handy, that's okay. You can just listen while I give voice to the words. Psalm 122. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is at unity with itself, to which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, the assembly of Israel, to praise the name of the Lord. For there are the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and quietness within your towers. For my brethren and companions' sake, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. Psalm 122. So this is a psalm that is praising Jerusalem, where the temple is, where where God, the God of the, the Hebrews, was thought to, to be, to reside. When people talk about Jerusalem in the Bible, sometimes they're talking about the city-state of Jerusalem, the historical place, and a lot of times they're talking about something else, some kind of new Jerusalem, some kind of ideal Jerusalem where God's peace reigns, where God's love reigns, where God's justice reigns. Here we have a description of Jerusalem, a city that is at unity with itself, where peace is within its walls, where quietness is in its towers. You know, I think about our own country. There's been a lot of calls lately um, for unity, and I think that unity is a, is a good thing. But it's hard to have unity without peace and without justice and without even quietness. Quietness as my dog starts barking. You know, I wonder if there's something about this description of the ideal city, a city that can be at unity because it is at peace because it has quietness. I, I think about the relationship of those two things. And I wonder what we can do in our own lives to, in small ways, start turning ourselves and our families and our community towards peace, towards quietness. This doesn't mean that we forget about justice. Justice is part of peace. You know, peace doesn't mean papering over wrongs that have been done. It means naming the wrongs. But it means not giving in to retribution, not giving in to hate, not giving in to violence. This psalm makes me think about ways I can use my speech, my relationships, my online presence, every way that I engage in the world. What are the ways that I can start promoting peace without. And I think some of it starts from that quietness within. 
the fact that you are here and you are choosing to spend five or six minutes with God, with scripture, seeking quietness. Maybe that's part of turning towards peace in your life that will ultimately help us all one day turn towards a genuine unity. Be well, stay safe, wear your mask, and I'll see you soon.